Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you determine the molecular geometry of SBr2. It's a chemical formula for sulfur dibromide and to determine its molecular geometry we are first going to look at its lowest structure. So this is the lowest structure of SBr2 in which sulfur atom is forming two bonds with two bromine atoms over here and at first glance this molecule might seem linear because of the arrangement of the atoms but do not forget about the lone pairs that are present on the central atom. In molecular geometry every lone pair counts for some change and there is a distortion because of the lone pairs in the molecules. So as per VSCPR theory the bonding pairs and non-bonding pairs of electrons are spread out evenly to avoid any ripple forces between them. So as per the VSCPR theories, these bromine atoms will spread out evenly as well as these lone pairs will spread out evenly to give us a stable structure. If you look at its shape, it would be something like this and you can see that there is a bent in the shape because of this lone pairs of electrons. These lone pairs of electrons cause these bromine atoms, uh, push these bromine atoms towards each other. So this is one way to go about it. The second way to go about is to uh, find out the AXN notation or AXE notation for this molecule. The AXE notation for this molecule would be AX2E2 because there are two atoms of bromine that are forming bonds to sulfur and there are two lone pairs of uh, electrons on the sulfur atom. And as the AXE notation is AX2E2, it corresponds to bent molecular geometry on this table as well and hence the molecular geometry of SBr2 molecule is bent. I hope this video helps you to understand that. For more such videos on lowest structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.